Hello everyone, my name is Jordan Johnson and my VA history exam project will be on David Hamilton Jackson. This video will be split into five parts. Part one is all the years and community leader. This part talks about what he did while he was at a very young age. Part two is David Hamilton Jackson goes to Denmark. This part talks about his travels from St. Croix to Denmark and his success in Denmark. Part three is the Herald and Liberty Day. This part talks about his newspaper, the Herald, and is proclaimed about the 1st of November being a public holiday called Liberty Day in the future. Part four is Jackson as a lawyer, judge, and legislator. This part talks about Jackson pursuing a degree in law in the United States. He served on the Colonial Council of St. Croix and served as a judge of the Municipal Court of St. Croix. The final part, part five, is David Hamilton Jackson Month. This part talks about the impact that Jackson had on the Virgin Islands. Ooh, finally, table of contents done. And now with that out of the way, let's start. Finally. <laughs> E. Hamilton Jackson was born on St. Croix on September 28, 1884 in the U.S. Virgin Islands. His mother was a teacher and his father was the principal when he started school. Jackson is claimed to have been engaged in current events from an early age and to have been willing and able to take a stand and defend his beliefs. As an adult, Jackson would play a significant part in the island's social, economic, and political growth. David Hamilton Jackson set out for Denmark from St. Croix. He spent more than two months in the nation, meeting with officials, the monarch, the press, and giving speeches at public events. In the Danish West Indies, he spoke for the working class. The main outcome of David Hamilton Jackson's visit to Denmark was a series of ambitious, non-binding pledges from Danish lawmakers. He was given approval to establish a newspaper. Our publications on the islands were strictly censored by the Danish authorities beginning in 1779. Only government-funded per periodic per periodicals were permitted under local regulation. The Herald, the first free press magazine on St. Croix, was made possible by Jackson's accomplishment in getting the censorship lifted. In September 1915, Jackson returned to St. Croix. He allegedly earned praise for becoming a hero. High expectations for change following his visit to Denmark quickly turned out to be unfounded because not much change. After his trip to Denmark, David Hamilton Jackson launches The Herald, a newspaper in his native country. A report on the circumstances surrounding Jackson and The Herald appeared in the West End News and the St. Thomas Times in November 1915. According to the report, on October 30th, Jackson gave away free copies of his debut issue on The Herald. And he goes to say that when he gave his lecture on October 31st, he told the audience to skip work the next day and come to Christiansted to celebrate the launch of their newspaper. Additionally, Jackson declared Liberty Day to be a future public holiday on November 1st at this event. Between 1917 to 1921, Jackson studied law in the United States. Jackson served in the St. Croix Colon <laughs> Colonial Council from 1923 to 1926, as well as the St. Croix Municipal Council in 1941 and 1946. Throughout these times, he frequently functioned as a spokesman. In the latter job, Jackson traveled to the nation's capital to speak on matters impacting the new U.S. territory, such as citizenship for the inhabitants of the islands. He was a judge on St. Croix's Municipal Court from 1931 to 1941, and he was privileged to have played a role in the formulation of the 1936 Organic Act. He was the organization's first chairman. It is said that in his private law practice, he often provided free legal services to his people. On May 30th, 1946, David Hamilton Jackson passed away. He worked for the people of St. Croix as an educator, community organizer, free press champion, newspaper founder and editor, labor leader, lawyer, judge, and lawmaker. In 1981, an act enacted in the 14th VA legislature proclaimed November 1st as David Hamilton Jackson Day in recognition for his efforts. In the United States Virgin Islands, David Hamilton Jackson Day is a public holiday and all public schools, local government offices, the VA Superior Court, and the legislature are closed. The Grove Place Action Committee hosts an annual Jackson celebration on November 1st in St. Croix. Typically, 
The gathering includes music, speeches, and a dinner of roast meat, stuffing, and bread. According to local lore, the ritual of meat and bread originated at a 1915 celebration of the Herald's publication. The tale goes that those in attendance at the celebration enjoyed a feast of meat and bread. As a result, the meal was included in contemporary festivities of the event, leading to the term Bull and Bread Day, becoming widely used to refer to it.